Hi, Cancer's Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 16th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Cancer, let's see what energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. So we have two. We have the Princess of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. So this can mean it's sacred feminine energy, most most definitely. But there is a sense of... Okay. So there is a sense of somebody using knowledge against us or somebody using logic against us or twisting words. So this is somebody who has a lot of power but can also be very, very immature. So just very much be aware of this, that this person is... I don't know if it's two people, but I really am seeing it as one person who almost has like two personalities. One is you will listen to me. I am in charge. This is how it's going. And the other like has, they have really bad, um, boundaries, you know, and it's just kind of like, well, now I want to be your best friend. And now we're going to talk about everything and you're going to share everything with me. Be mindful of this person because they will use what you tell, what, what you tell them against you and it will become very chaotic. So just, just be aware of that. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is angels and masters, which means this is our soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. This means that our angels and divinity are right there with us, guiding us, protecting us, healing us, walking with us. And that's just so important. That is so important here. And there's this real sense of I am protected, I am I'm guarded during this time. So there's this, this kind of like filtering of spiritual energy coming through us, meaning like all the negative energy around us is being filtered through the angel's wings. And so when it comes to us, it's a lot more peaceful. It's a lot calmer. So being able to tap into that energy is just going to be so important. Meaning that we calm ourselves and center ourselves because if we put ourselves in the midst of chaos, even if they filter that energy a lot, you're still going to get the chaos coming through. So just be aware of that. Let's look at the tarot, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. <laughs> there we go. I love how these cards spin. Okay. Angels and spirit guides, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. All right. And let me pick up that card that just slipped out. angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels okay. so let's see here All right. Okay. 
So this is very interesting right here at our center. We have the magician coming forward, which is where we are now. There's a sense of I'm embracing my magic, myself. These, this is the element of me that I am bringing forward to the world and saying, this is me. This is what I'm proud of. This is what I want. This is what I need in life. We're having the confidence to stand before the altar of our existence, to stand before the world and say, this is me. Now, what's very interesting is that our challenging energy is the Empress. We're having a harder time taking what we want to create and bringing it forward into the world. We can know what it is. We can have a severe passion towards it, but the actual creation of it during this time, we're going to think, you know, we're going to feel like we fall short. So first we can kind of scale things back, like scale our dreams back and say, okay, instead of wanting to write a novel or, or paint a painting, like, let me paint, let me draw a little figure, you know, on this page, like every single day, or let me, or, you know, at least three times a week, let me write, you know, at least a line every day, or again, three times a week, let me do something like this. So I can slowly and steadily build towards my dreams. If I want to open up my business, all right, let me see how I get that started because we're going to have a hard time creating what it is that we want, but also embracing that nurturing, you know, loving, compassionate energy that is a part of us. It moves us to what we're focusing on and we're focusing on on our dreams. The seven of cups is having a dream come forward. We're also focusing on all the choices that we have to make, all the different ways that we are being pulled. And it brings us to our past, which is the three of cups. Now the three of cups is, for me, it is a sense of, I've trusted people who should have celebrated me. It's usually one person, like they should have celebrated me and they couldn't. And this scar runs deep. It could be a, a partner, a spouse, you know, it could be a parent, but it's like, I trusted you. You were supposed to connect with me and you couldn't. Also, this is saying that we're spending so much time focusing on that energy that we weren't able to connect with, that the energy around us, the people around us that we can connect with, we're not fully engaging with it or we're not fully seeing the gift that they are because we're wondering, well, why couldn't this person love me or why couldn't this person connect with me? It brings us to the nine of cups, which is our strength and our strength is the fact that our dreams are coming true. Like this is a wish coming forward. That's why our choices and our dreams are so important to us. We know that something bigger is coming and yet we we kind of want to control it. And Cancer, what Spirit is saying is like, you don't have any control over the wish that, that I'm giving you, over the blessing that is coming forward. So this is going to be something where it's kind of like it's out of your hands. And as we're looking at what we truly want and need, we're also looking at where we truly want to be with ourselves. And this is also a sense of our, our gift is that we can really celebrate our strengths. We can really see what we have achieved and how far we have come and really celebrate us. It brings us to our near future, which is the page of swords. Now this could be engaging with somebody who gives us new ideas, like who really helps us see things outside of the box. But we ourselves are also going to, to be in that mind space to be able to see things outside of the box, to be able to, to connect with this person who's very creative, who's very kind of individualized and really embrace that creative individuality to really shine and move forward and, and see what we want and see what we need and, and see what's important to us. It brings us to this place where our suggested approach is to embrace the Queen of Cups, which is very interesting because our challenge is connecting with the sacred feminine energy of the Empress, right? But the Queen of Cups, I see her as the court card that is the closest connected to the Empress. There's just this loving, healing energy to her. I remember one of my, my teachers in the tarot said this. She's like, the, the Queen of Cups is the closest to the Empress. And I just saw that right now, like her voice came echoing through my head right now when I looked at this card. So for you here, Cancer, it's like you are so close to this energy, to this energy of creation, to this energy of nourishing, to this energy of, it's almost like you're, you're so close to the magic that you can't see the magic. You're so close to the energy of creation and healing and, and power that you can't see it within yourself. So it's time to step back and it's also time to kind of stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so, you know, intense on yourself and say, yeah, no, I can do this. And yes, I, I get to do this. It brings us also to a place where people look at us as somebody who has their act together. So we could be confused or we can be overwhelmed or we could be, you know, doubting our decisions. People aren't going to see that. So our suggested approach is to really utilize this confidence that others see in us and say, you know what? 
I am moving forward. And it might be a mistake, it might not be a mistake, but I am definitely going after what I want. It moves us to what we need to know. And this is the Four of Wands. We need to know that we need to celebrate us. We need to know that people love us. We need to know that there is, is more to this life than just, you know, how, how big the bank account is and our zip code. I mean, yes, these things are important, but Spirit is really saying here, you need to celebrate you. You need to dance and laugh with family and friends and be around people who celebrate and build you up. That's going to be just one of the most important things here, Cancer. And as we're embracing this and also as we're looking at new opportunities like travel and intrigue are just going to be so important to us. We're questioning, we're looking, we're searching. And this is like go on an adventure or even just, you know, read about one in a book or, or a movie. It's going to be good for us. It moves us to our hopes and our fears. And this is the lovers. This is Gemini energy. This is a sense of, I hope that I can love my life. I hope that I can find that beautiful, passionate, brilliant love that I want. And I fear that I never will. And I fear that loving my life is, or loving your life is for somebody else. You know, not for me. It's like, no. Cancer, every single day, wake up, look in the mirror, and say, I love you. No, say, Cancer, I love you. But replace Cancer with your name. Because if you say your name, and if you say you, it radiates in the brain better. It, like, it, it, it penetrates deeper into our consciousness than if we just say, I love you, I love you, over and over again. So here connect, connect with what you're passionate about and say, I am moving forward. And well, cancer is moving forward in this fashion. Like, you know, talk kind of in the third person. It doesn't matter if it sounds totally kooky, you know, embrace it, embrace you and, and keep on moving forward in that direction, in what you want, but say it out loud, say it to yourself. So you stay on course because your hope is that you get to have this love, this passion, this beauty, this brilliance in your life. Your fear is that it never gets to come or that you get so close to it and then it gets taken away. It moves us to our potential future, which is the Ace of Cups. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift, Cancer, just for us. It's love, it's passion, it's, it's the, the mixing of the emotions that have been really deep inside of us. And it's, it's a cleansing of things that we've been holding onto, toxicities that we've been holding onto, hurts that we've been holding onto, joys that we have been holding onto. Things that have been buried deep start to come up, for good or for bad. And this is a sense of a release. Now this can make us very sensitive. This can bring about tears, but it's like, I need to release so that I can heal. And so that I can drink deeply of this cup and be inspired and be empowered. Our energy that we need to be mindful of, our subconscious energy to be mindful of here, Cancer, is, is the fact that you will be doing all the work. It's like subconsciously be mindful of others taking credit for the work that you have done. Then we have our chakra energy, which is the sacral chakra, which is flexibility. Subconsciously, we need to be more flexible within ourselves, within what we want, within what we need, within what we're looking for. And that's going to be important because we have this rigidity around us, like it has to be this way. And Spirit's saying, why? Why does it have to be that way? Let yourself be into the flexibility. Like let yourself move and, and see, and even see, has your body become rigid? You know, do we need to do stretching exercises? You know, where's the rigidity in our lives and why is the rigidity there? It moves us to our subconscious tarot energy. And this is the five of wands. Subconsciously, we're so used to the fighting. We're so used to the chaos that that feels normal. And I mean, that's part of life in and of itself. But here it's like, I don't want this to be my normal anymore. I don't want to find chaos more readily enjoyable than peace and calm and harmony. And so that's going to be very important during this time. It's like, cause we're going to be kind of subconsciously drawn to the chaotic things, to the overwhelming things. And spirit's saying here, become aware of this, become aware of the chaos. and like, okay, why am I here? Why is this a part of me? Why am I getting drawn into this and step back? All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer, and may blessings always be with you.